Oh, I missed the target. I, I... What's up, guys? Welcome to UFAX. This is the Biased Opinion Show, where I answer your unfrequently asked questions on the range. Let's shoot some arrows. He says, I'm so proud of you. Thanks, Ted. What? Mr. Truth says, how long will that bow last? I've had one for three years. Here's the thing with bows. If they're taken care of, climate control, don't leave it strong, it's gonna last super long. There's bows that are 50, 70, 80 years old that people are still shooting, no problem. Robert D says, is there an advantage in performance with a recurve over a standard long bit bow? Or are they just a little shorter? Yeah, so recurves aren't necessarily shorter, but they're gonna be a little bit faster. There's more stored energy on a recurve than a long bow or a reflex deflex bow. So you're gonna have more stored energy. The problem with that sometimes is that it can have more vibration or hand shock when shooting the bow. So there's normally a trade between comfortable shooting and speed, although you can kind of get the best of both worlds if it's a well-made bow. Man, I'm really happy for you. It's inspiring to watch someone go basically from a garage making pretty cool bows to opening up a shop and a mass, making master class works of art. Congratulations, sir. Ever forward. That's Patrick Miller. Patrick Miller, thank you. William Swerengen. This is good music, mate. Hey, thanks. That's an interesting one because if you're putting something out in the world, someone's gonna hate it, someone's gonna like it. So I do what inspires me at the moment. And if you enjoyed the music, I'm happy. Ooh, yeah. Wow. Way to go, man. You're on your way. And I'm wondering where are you going? My goal is to inspire people to action through content, products, and hanging out with people. Like you guys. 11 bows that you reviewed. You said something like, this bow is as comfortable as biscuits and gravy. Swifty 1990 said, living in the UK, I don't know if biscuits and gravy is comfortable or not. No, it's... it's considered a comfortable food or a comfort food and so i think i told you to say biscuits and gravy sounds on me should we do a weird youtuber thing probably not okay let's do it oh, oh that went through the target that might have been what your first one did oh really if there's a hole in the middle of the target then it's different uh might have Oh my goodness. So you did, I think you did go through on the first one. Per Haculus says, thank you so much for what you do. Quick story, I watched your video on making a laminated board bow. The next day, I found a board lying on the road. A poplar board of all things. <laughs> so I picked it up, took it home, and started to make one as well. <laughs> That's so cool. That's pretty funny. I mean, come on. Good job, man. When life gives you... When life gives you poplar. For small game hunting, what would be a good recommendation? Small game hunting? It's gonna be the same. Probably something that's comfortable to shoot. Any of them would work, honestly. Good equipment's like a good housekeeper. You don't realize when they're doing their job. <laughs> <laughs> that's not bad. You can, I can always count on you. <laughs> Turkey or, uh, what is that? Bobcat? Drips. 21. Nice shot. Thank you. Says, yeah. he's messing up on stuff. He shouldn't be making it out if that's how good he is. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, you know, if you mess up on something in life, at your job, if you mess up at home, you should just give up. Like you said, you want to go right at it, missing a little bit right here, right? It's a good point. And Peter XYZ has a good add on to that. He said, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up on the same video. Everyone fail. Growth comes from learning and doing. If someone claims to not make a mistake, walk away. Ooh, that was good. That was a good shot. I'm gonna read Drips 21's uh, comment again. He said, he's messing up on stuff. He shouldn't be making it out of that's how good he is. So Drips, if you messed up on grammar, does that mean you shouldn't ever write a comment again? <laughs> <laughs> good news is this is the first time I've shot in about four months because I hurt my wrist pretty bad. It's feeling good so far. That's awesome. So, random guy says, do you ever make 68 to 70 inch longbows for 3D and IBO? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what I'll ever do. That's not in the near future horizon. Um, I'm assuming he's asking to, if we'll sell them. Yeah, probably. Um, 
probably on our arty bones. Will we ever? Man, I would have never imagined I'm where I am today. Um, but it's not in the near future business plan. We're gonna get really good at doing a few specific things first before we expand. That way we can make sure we serve the people we can 100% instead of try to delude ourselves and serve everybody. So I'm sorry, um, if you need one of those bows right now, somewhere else would be the place to go. I think this is a coyote. Ah, yeah. Dead coyote. Mike Rose says, I'm 77, have been a master bow technician and staff shooter at Browning High Country and Bow Tech and done it since 1972. I have watched your videos and seen you grow from instructional shooting to building your own company and bowline. Great job and well deserved. You are, as stated, an inspiration to all archers and bow hunters. Congratulations and continue to excess, my friend. Mike Rose, yeah. thank you very much. That, that means a lot, especially because you have experience. Really appreciate it. See if we can get three in there. Do it. Oh my oh, oh. goodness, it's like I haven't taken a break, man. Milos Christic says, Savaka kas veliki mastor on your making a laminated bow in silence, which in Serbian is well done, Grandmaster. Grandmaster? <laughs> what is that a reference to? What's a grand? Grandmaster's like a chess grandmaster, right? Yeah. 